obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The problem is simulating heat transfer by a radiator inside a room by a transient solver. In fact, the radiator is attached to one of the room's sidewalls, which acts as a heat source. The radiator consists of hot water flow pipes and aluminium fins. It is assumed that the hot water flow inside the pipe has a constant temperature and as a result the body of the pipes has a constant temperature equal to 353 degree of Kelvin. The walls of the room have a thickness of 0.3 meter which has convection heat transfer with outside thus the ambient air temperature is assumed to be uh, 284 degree of Kelvin and the convection heat transfer coefficient is assumed to be 8. The purpose of this study is to investigate the rate of heat transfer from the radiator to the interior of the room using natural convection and the buoyancy effect. Therefore the gravity effect is applied to the model. The three-dimensional model is drawn using the design modeler software. The present model consists of a room in the shape of a rectangular cube and uh, a radiator inside it and connected to one of its sidewalls. The left figure shows a view of the geometry. Also, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The right figure also shows the view of the mesh. From the mesh display section, we can check all the surfaces, including wall fins, wall for room, and also wall that water pass through them. It's obvious that energy equation should be activated in this CFT simulation. In the viscous model, the a standard K-Epsilon model has been used, that is a two-equation turbulence model that allows the determination of both a turbulent length and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. Uh, the a standard K-Epsilon model is in ANSYS Fluent falls within this class of models and has become the workhorse of practical engineering flow calculations in the time since it was proposed. Uh, robustness, economy, and uh, reasonable uh, accuracy for a wide range of turbulence flows explain its popularity in industrial flow and heat transfer simulations. Also, it is a semi-empirical model. The uh, standard K-Epsilon model is a model based on model transport equations for the turbulent kinetic energy, K, and its dissipation rate, Epsilon. The model transport equation for K is derived from the exact equation, while the model transport equation for Epsilon was obtained using um, physical reasoning in the uh, derivation of the K Epsilon model. The assumption is that the flow is fully turbulent and the effect of uh, molecular viscosity are negligible. The standard K epsilon model is therefore valid only for fully turbulent flows. There are also two different zones that include air that contain the interior part of the room. While air in the boundary condition zone just indicates the part of the fin wall that is connected with the air as inlet and outlet and they are assumed to be as the walls. And finally, the water wall that indicates the walls that water pass through and you can see this boundary condition in the picture and also the thermal condition is temperature and as we said before, the uh, passing water in these pipes temperature is equal to 353 degree of Kelvin. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. 
In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. Uh, the time step size is five second and also the number of time steps is equal to 240 that indicates that the cft simulation time interval is equal to 1020 hundred seconds or 20 minutes so every results for this simulation has been obtained after 20 minutes The plane number 8 is a plane that have already made and we can display all the desired contours and vectors and that because it, uh, you know, it cuts the radiator and passes through the radiator and is a Z constant plane. Here we can see the two dimensional velocity contour on the plane 8. The buoyancy effect is obvious here that moves the air upward. The pressure contour. And finally we can display the most important two-dimensional contour of the CFT simulation as the temperature contour. As we can see the minimum temperature magnitude is about 291 in the corner of the room and also the lateral side of the room that are far from the radiator and so also the maximum temperature occurs on the wall fins of the radiator that is equal to the maximum temperature of uh, passing uh, water flow equal to the 353 degree of Kelvin. For a better understanding of the buoyancy effect that has been occurred in the simulation we can check the velocity vector and see the vectors that all of them are upward at the top of the radiator that shows the buoyancy effect the temperature is equal to 300 degree of kelvin that shows almost 10 degree of kelvin increase in the temperature of the average volume of the room also in an another section of the surface integral we can report an area weighted average on wall fin and also obtain the surface nozzle number uh, that is one of the most important or i can say that the most important feature of this kind of cft simulation is to obtain the surface nozzle number on the fin walls that is equal to 193 A summary of the defining the steps of the problem and its solution is given in the following tables. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.